Thank you for tuning in. We'll now be taking a look at the second game for our comparison. Uh, this is Guild Wars 2, a game that many many of our users have been asking about. Um, this is running on the 680M and yeah we have it in Ultra just to give you a gauge like to see what the performance difference is between the 680M and the cards like the 7970 and the 675M. Um, just for a bit of background information for you guys, um, the 680M and the 675M are actually very different. You see the 675M very often but it's actually based on the old Fermi architecture while the 680M is based on the new Kepler architecture. Um, there is a variant of the 675 which is based on the new architecture but it is called the 675MX not the 675M and as you can see we have this running an ultra and we're getting roughly 50 40 to 50 FPS sometimes jumping into the 60s just depending on what kind of environment you're in so 680 is very sufficient for running Guild Wars 2 and ultra So for comparison's sake, now we're running with an X15 and a 7970M on Guild Wars 2 and Ultra in a similar environment to the 680M just now. And what we're getting at Ultra settings is the same as the 680. Basically, FPS fluctuating from the low 40s all the way to the 60s just depending on where you are at in this game. Yeah, but definitely we can see that the AMD actually produced better frame rates in Battlefield 3, um, but in Guild Wars, uh, NVIDIA has a slight lead. Alright guys, so now we're taking a look at the X15 with the NVIDIA 675M graphics card. This graphics card is actually based on NVIDIA's last generation Fermi technology, despite the name. So the actual physical structure of the card is very similar to NVIDIA's 580M graphics card. Um, don't confuse this card with the 675MX because the 675M is quite far below the MX variant of the card in performance. So as you can see, we're running Guild Wars 2 here on Ultra and the 675M manages frame rates in the 30s to the low 40s. And in general, um, it's very playable on this card. Uh, 675M, um, much like many of the mid-range cards like the 670MX or the 660M, it's a decent card for gaming, but for some of the higher end games, you might have to scale your settings down a little bit 